Today's video brought to you by Jake Swanson's Camp near Hall, Potter County, 1902. Well, we are on the move as you can see. We got the dozer going rolling here. Boy, we rolled in here at about 11 o'clock trying to move this thing. Sorry I'm shaking, bumpy road. And um, the dozer was completely froze up. Fuel line was full of water, filters were full of water. I don't really know how all that got in there, but could have something to do with the fact that we don't just get cold weather or just get rain, we get torrential downpour followed by instant deep freeze right after it so that totally screwed things up it is now five quarter after five or so and we're gonna go drop this off at the new job heading back south all right so we got the dozer moved yesterday after 11 hours of hate your life frozen fuel lines was the big problem now we are there's the big b the big bar r r, r co we are headed south. Oh yeah, look at her. She's gonna need a bath. Too much road salt along with the truck too. But today went off with a little better, I wanna say without a hitch. Um, it ain't over yet. But uh, we have the Barco on that this run and then the goodies are sitting up there where it came from on the flatbed. And he's gonna come back and get the goodies hopefully this afternoon here. Well, it almost is afternoon, so we'll see. And then, uh, yeah, the skitter I think will be Monday. So we got a pipeline crossing to do. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. I'll probably try to get some video of it. We got to do an air bridge and all kinds of shit from what I'm told. So, alrighty, guys. Ah, uh, here it comes, here it comes. I got me a little spot cleared out. I'm gonna have to cut some of them little locusts down. I think my buddy wants them for firewood though. Here it comes. Look at the vanilla colored beauty. Right, well, there they go. are. The goodies are here. We got the tank and the buck saw. One last thing to do is um i think he says he he's gonna take his break his electronic logbook told him he's gonna take a break um but uh the skitters all that's left uh, we got might be bringing some bridge mats in well we definitely are but maybe in this video i don't know yet we got the we got to build a big air bridge well the ugly beast is loaded up we're on our way south all right, well, we're back. Loader's in, tank's in, goodies are in. I gotta hook that up. I'm working on the chains on that skitter. Uh, I've been greasing, changing the, oh my God, that's heavy. Changing, uh, we got rain. That's why we're not working this morning. We're cutting this morning, that's why I'm not cutting. But uh, that part, okay, let me take you over. Well, let's just do this first. These are the skitter chains, and boy, don't they just look like they're in fine shape. They are, they're rough. Needless to say, they're in rough shape. I didn't get these this way. The key to skitter chains is to keep them fiddle string tight. Tighter the better, because then you don't get the wear, like you see in the links there, you see that wear. It's not focusing, come on, focus. But, uh, why is it not focusing? Maybe it's my big, ugly hand. Anyways, um, yeah, so if anybody is in the western Pennsylvania, central Pennsylvania region that has an old set of 30.5 ring chains laying around, get a hold of me, man. I, I'm looking for a used set. I can't, I can't quite afford a brand new set, so, but, uh, all right, let me get to working on these a little, tighten them up, and then I'll take you over and show you guys the air bridge. All right, so here's the great air bridge. Now the reason I'm sorry I could I didn't get any of this on film, and it's because I wasn't I wasn't uh, it was frowned upon. Let's just put it that way. The inspectors were here. Uh, there was a bunch of people from the company here, and it was just you know it's one of the things like yeah maybe you shouldn't uh, 
Maybe you just shouldn't the video that. Wouldn't be good. I don't know why. Whatever. This right away they own. So, I mean, I respect that. But here we go. We matted it. I'm going to put about four more mats there. I'm waiting to get them, and i got to put about three more over there. But it comes all the way across, and the line itself is right there under that red flag and a red flag there. I think it's six feet there deep, just shy of six feet, and it's almost seven feet here. It's a 24-inch line. Oh. I'll show you what those are for in a minute. But there you have it. It runs... Right under here, you can see the other stakes out there and then the marker. And there we are. We are air bridged. So that's what they wanted. And then they were like, well, how are you going to keep them from sliding around? And I said, well, I'm going to cut these chamfers on them. And I'm going to go get them big, huge spikes. And I'm going to pound them in there and pin this thing so it can't move anywhere. When I get to the end of the bridge and we'll take the dozer and cut a trough and take that last mat and dip it down in the dirt almost like a ramp so you ride up on it the logs ride up on it well it'll be coming from this direction and I'll do the same thing it'll go out and I'll cut a trough and dip it off in but the idea is to get this all the way across their line so we're not on it at all so once again sorry I couldn't video it just one of them things you know that's not my buggy that's uh, that's a contractor's buggy so but all right i'm going to uh i'm gonna get after this that'll be it for this video hopefully the next video here will be cutting some timber if it ever quits raining